last week games. Say it again, I'm sorry. How did, how did it feel uh, get back in there? good. I mean, to get back out there, I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to get back out there on the floor. Uh, obviously, I had to catch that second win. Uh, just sitting down for a little some time. But it felt good. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the win, but you know, it's pretty, more, pretty much more, more games to be played. So happy to you know, have a happy New Year's and start the year off right, you know, heading back home. And, Hopefully you get a, a nice little home shot there and you know, rally up some wins. What do you what do you guys need to do to kind of get back on, on track? Or at least just play better basketball. And, uh, obviously, you know, you guys are pretty short handed. So. Yeah, it's just been short handed, you know, with the COVID and all, a lot of guys in protocol, of guys just getting out, uh, some injuries and stuff like that. So um, once we get fully healthy, I think we'll be um, get things rolling and getting back together, playing with each other and things like that. So I think things will Check out. We got a long season, a lot of ball game, a lot of games up. So, what was it like just just getting back into the fold of things? Obviously, you know, probably have not played basketball at least this time of year for that long of a stretch on miles. So, like, what what was it like kind of getting back into the swing of it with the team, also in the protocols? Kind of? Um, just finding my niche, finding things to to go out there and just like I said, that then getting in the protocols was pretty tough. Obviously, that that's something that a lot of us don't want to do. But obviously, uh, going out there and just doing whatever we need to do, try to win a game. Like I said, we just a lot of game left in the season. Uh, a lot of guys starting to come back. CJ slowly comes back. Guys will eventually come out of protocols, and hopefully, you know, in the next week or two, have a lot of a full house and get things rolling back rolling with, uh, with our chemistry and guys playing together with each other. You know, hopefully, you know, get it rolling. How how, uh, how bad did you have it? I guess like what was your experience? Oh, uh, to be honest, man, it's just like a normal thing for me. Um, stuffy nose, you know, a little cough here and there, but some just a, just a normal seasonal, you know, um, you know, like a, a cold, I guess if you want to say, but yeah, it's normal. How do you find a rhythm, like you said, and finding your niche when you have you know, the protocols and changing lineups and then a lot of games coming down? Yeah, I mean, been isolated. Obviously, I got I got a Peloton at home. <laughs> I was able to get on the Peloton, try to do some type of cardio a little bit. And uh, I have two kids, you know, that I chase around a lot, so a little more cardio. <laughs> um, but other than that, just I was having the opportunity, I had an opportunity to you know, get some shots up you know, once I cleared my protocols. But my motto is obviously staying ready. I know how to get ready. And, you know, uh, it takes a lot of, you know, work, effort, go out there and do what I did, you know, being out for like a week uh, to do what I do. And, um, like I said, I, those these are the moments that, you know, I grind my butt off in the gym and go out there and do what I need to do to make shots. And that's what I did tonight, but obviously still, we really got the win, uh, but again, we got a lot of ball games. Uh, this season. Time for a couple from the Zoom. We're going to go uh, Aaron Fentress, Oregonian. Hey Ben, how uh, <clears throat> how was it for all the guys in terms of who are on protocols in terms of communicating with each other? Were you guys all texting each other to see how you were doing all the time? Were you guys watching the yeah, game? I mean, were you frustrated and texting as well? I mean, it's always frustrating when you're not playing, right? So, um, but yeah, we we kept in communication with guys, trying to figure out, especially guys. A lot of the guys that was in protocol as well and guys that was not in protocols reaching out to us and checking up on us, making sure how we feel and things like that. So it's, it's always the chemistry there. So it's always that team thing right there. We got to keep that, keep that rolling. And, and I, obviously, yeah, again, it, it'd be frustrating to not playing, but I'm just like, can you describe for me what it was like for you at home watching the game? You know, probably just wanting to be there, you know, coming out of your seat. Like what was that experience like for you? Yeah. Like I said, I'm watching the games and, I did everything I could to get out of protocol. So uh, <laughs> I think a lot of my teammates are trying to do the same thing, trying to get back uh, so we can get back in rhythm of things and have a full house. Thanks, man. Uh, last question coming from Krista Saltis. Hello, Ben. Hope you're doing well. What was the biggest lesson of tonight's game for you guys? Say it again. What was the biggest lesson of tonight's game for you guys? Biggest. Oh, uh, 
you know, we just got to continue to play hard, playing together, uh, getting stops. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, pretty much we knew the game plan going in, knew what it was capable of transition. We just, you know, not turning the ball over and things like that. So uh, pretty simple there. Awesome. We'll wrap it there. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. That's awesome. so,